it's Bonnie. I'm recording you guys a video on a Jane Chain for method paragraph using the Samian Matter structure. We started it in class. I'm in my kids' playroom. This is my first time doing something like this, so bear with me. All right, I'm a good student, so what I make sure I have in front of me before I get started is my Realm Writers resource book. On page 10, I have tons of ways to help me elaborate. In other words, help me get through my commentary sentences. Look at all those. I can start sentences all kinds of ways if I'm stuck thinking of things to write about. I also make sure that I know that there's lists of transitions everywhere in this book. And if for some reason I forgot my book, I can look online. I can ask someone for transitions. We did all of this. They're here. Writers use the words that they have in front of them. All of these. I also know my Jane Schaefer method paragraph dance, topic sentence, concrete detail, commentary, 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 concluding sentence, topic sentence, concrete detail, commentary, 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 concluding sentence. Remembering that this is just for body paragraphs. All right, what we have on this board, we started taking notes last week on. This part is going to end up looking like this. A completed body paragraph. I wonder if you can see because of the glare. Sorry, my printer was having problems. A completed body paragraph. So this is just another way to organize your thoughts, organize the structure before you turn it into words in a paragraph, okay? You can find that paragraph that I just showed you in an attachment on your, in your Google Classroom that says Jane Schaefer persuasive video paragraph example. Might be best to print that out first and then be looking at it as I'm talking to see that they're the same. All right, so I make a chart. Say, mean, matter. In other words, my concrete detail is the say, my mean is one line of commentary, and then my matter are the other lines of commentary. My topic sentence is up here. My concluding sentence is down there. In this case, I made the topic sentence and the concluding sentence the main color because we know that these two are related. My concluding sentence has to refer back to the topic sentence. Use it, saying the same thing, restating it, but using different words. All right, up here I just wrote our thesis statement. Our thesis statement is what drives the whole essay. It's in the last sentence of our introduction. So I'm going to put it up here just to make sure I remember it. Overall, climate change is a problem we must fix. So our whole essay is going to talk about how it's a problem, and then it's going to give us reasons why we must fix it. So right here in this format, I wrote the topic sentence for our first body paragraph. I started with a transition. First, first, global climate change leads to more wildfires. That's my whole reason. My whole first body paragraph is going to be about how global climate change causes more, fi uh, more fi wildfires. And that's all I can talk about in this paragraph. That's got to be the focus. So what does it say? What's my concrete detail? This is going to be my fact. This is going to be what I, the evidence that I got from a source. Right? Remember our sources. Also online, we have the sources, Center of Climate and Energy, and we had the NASA Kids website as our second source. Those are linked on the website as well. 
So I'm going to take something, a fact, from one of these sources that's related to how it leads to more wildfire. Say, what does the actual source say, like word for word, or paraphrased if you know how to do that. And I start with a transition, of course. In fact, the reliable scientists at the Center of Climate and Energy Solutions report that, that's a direct quote, this is word for word coming up, the number of large wildfires have been increasing in recent decades. And then I put my parenthetical citation. This is where the website is, the website address with a period after it. The parenthetical citation says, look, if you don't believe me, you can click on this and you can see it for yourself. So that increases your credibility. So I'm going to show you where I got it. Here's my source. The website address is on the bottom. And I'm going to scan and word for word, oh, it's telling me about wildfires. Oh, and I took this quote, word for word. It wasn't a quote. I made it into a quote. I, it, when you put quotations around it, it means that it's, you're taking it word for word. The number of large wildfires has been increasing in recent decades. I didn't need to take the whole thing. I just wanted to, to talk about just how they're increasing. Remember, if you take too much information, then you have a chance to go off on a tangent and your paragraph will be doing too much with too little focus. So keep it small, like one reason at a time, one piece of evidence at a time. So here, that's exactly what it says, word for word. In fact, okay, word for word, I got my parenthetical citations. Now my next column, I'm going to call the meme. This is my first sentence of commentary. And it's my job in this first sentence of commentary to just say exactly what's in the quotes in another way. You have to pretend like somebody does, can't read or someone can't speak, someone speaks a different language or someone doesn't quite understand, maybe they're little. Can you say that, that the number of large wildfires have been increasing in a different way? And of course I use a transition. The perfect transitions for these are ones that say it in other words. We got a whole list of them. So I wrote some here, in other words or some, basically, to translate. Maybe you could say to say it differently. So here's what I said, here's what that means. The, basically, the rate of wildfires continues to go up. I'm gonna read my whole paragraph because that's what good writers do. They go back and reread, you gotta reread. First, global climate change leads to more wildfires. For example, the reliable scientists at the Center of Climate and Energy Solutions report that the number of large wildfires have been increasing in recent decades. See? To translate, the rate of wildfires continues to go up. So we're moving along. Now I get to the matter section. Well, why does that matter? Who cares? Who cares that the rate of wildfires is going up? If I don't know what to say, if I'm stuck, I can just go to my book and it gives me tons of ways to elaborate. Oh, I could make a comparison using like or as in the next sentence. I could tell the readers to do something. I could start a sentence with it is as if or I could go to any of these. Can you believe that? That's a sentence. So I'm using my resources. But naturally, I'm going to start with a transition, okay? So I'll say, to elaborate, this is important to humankind because out-of-control fires can wipe out homes. Imagine even more homeless people desperately searching for a warm, dry place to sleep. This is the opposite of what everyone deserves. I'm going to read the whole thing again. First, global climate change leads to more wildfires. To illustrate, the reliable scientists at the Center of Climate and Energy Solutions report that the number of large wildfires have been increasing in recent decades. 
Basically, the rate of wildfires continues to go up. Of course, this is important to humankind because out-of-control wildfires can wipe out homes. Imagine even more homeless people desperately searching for a warm, dry place to sleep. This is the opposite of what everyone, everywhere deserves. Topic sentence. Concrete detail. Commentary. Commentary, commentary, <gasps> commentary. I even did extra. Concluding sentence. Now I'm just going to highlight words so that we know it's all related. In my topic sentence, I know that global climate change leads to wildfires, right? So anything that's related to wildfires, fire, means that it's staying on topic. All right, so in my concrete detail, my say, oh, there it is. Word for word, wildfires. Oh, increasing kind of goes with leads, right? It's going more. Up, oh, the rate is going up more. Up. There it is. And then over here, remember I'm looking for wildfires. This is important because, oh, out of control fires. Oh, they're going to wipe out homes. It's terrible, right? That's what they lead to. Imagine even more homeless people desperately searching for a warm, dry place to sleep. That's terrible. This is the opposite of what everyone, everywhere deserves. Look, everyone and everywhere have a direct relationship to something being global. That's all of us. So I've got a paragraph. I'm going and it's all on topic, okay? I don't have my concluding sentence though. I have to make sure that the concluding sentence shuts it all down, it wraps it up, right? Doesn't give any new information. It matches my topic sentence and it starts with a transition. All in all, we must keep global temperatures down in order to prevent flames from going up. Global climate change, there it is. Global temperature, there it is. The flames, they're increasing. They're going up. More going up. I also did a, I used a literary device in the last sentence. When you have two opposite words within the same sentence, look, down, doop, and up. This is just a fun fact. It's called a paradox. I just took, put two opposite words in the same sentence. That's called a paradox. That's a fun, fun one. Bonus. I'm going to read the whole thing again. First, global climate change leads to more wildfires. For example, the reliable scientists at the Center of Climate and Energy Solutions report that the number of large wildfires have been increasing in recent decades. Parenthetical citation. To translate the rate of wildfires continues to go up. To elaborate, this is important because humankind, this is important to humankind, global again, because out of control fires can wipe out homes. Imagine even more homeless people desperately searching for a warm, dry place to sleep. This is the opposite of what everyone everywhere deserves. All in all, we must keep global temperatures down in order to prevent flames from going up. Then I just type this out, right, line by line, making sure, or write it out, making sure I indent. And I end up with, again, you can get access this below by clicking one of the links on the video paragraph. First, line one. There it is, my topic sentence, my concrete details, or my says, my evidence. It's the same thing. To elaborate, it's the same thing. And then you've got a full Jane Schaefer method paragraph. Okay? The other thing that you also have are these. I could just write sentence by sentence. Oh, topic sentence right here. First, global climate change leads to more wildfires. 
Oh, my transition. Let me get one in there. For example, ooh, my concrete detail, my say, the reliable scientists. Then my other transition. Bam. Then my commentary. And then, oh, my other transition. Boop, down there, the concluding sentence. And then the concluding sentence. So kids, you've got all of these resources, and now you have the ability to play this back. Jane Schaefer method using the say, mean, matter style of brainstorming so that your each line of your commentary has a job. The first sentence puts the concrete detail into other words. All right, let's see you. You, you did it once with the first assignment where you're advocating that it's a global issue that we're trying to fix. Now you're doing a second assignment where you're going to give us a reason why and you're going to break it down in the same mean matter format. Good luck. I love you. Bye.